I'm going to show you how to add pages and sub pages to your site. So you've got your main page, which is your home page. I'm on the home page. But if I want to insert pages, what I do is I click on the plus at the bottom and it says new page. So let's make this page about me and say done. So now I have a home page and an about me page. And you can see that it's automatically saving it and sits. There's home and about me. If I click on home, there's home, and if I click on about me, there is about me. Now, so you've got a home about me, let's add another one. Um, and let's call this one index. Now, I want the index page to go below the about me, not above me. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to drag it and drop it there. So it goes home about me index. Now, under the index, you're going to create other sub pages. So this time I click on the three dots at the right and I say add a sub page. And this one I'm going to call photos for T. For, let's go for T and L because you don't want it to be too long. And there it is. And let's add another sub page. And it's a sub page to the index, not a sub page to photos for teaching and learning. So I click on the three dots next to index, add a sub page and call this videos for T and L. Done. So that <clears throat> what that does, notice there's a drop down uh, menu below index and I can go to photos for learning, teaching and learning and videos for teaching and learning. So let's go to the index page. I click on it and what I want to do is I want to insert things into it. So I click on the insert and now what I want to create here is a text box. So I'm going to click text box and say, uh, let's do a trick here. Let's go back to up to the um, your portfolio index that you created below. And so I'm going to copy this. The following is a list of sections. Um, and I'm going to copy that and come to my demo site here. And um, I'm going to paste the that there and you you can use the um and i'm in the, the google site menu clicking on the word portfolio and then selecting the section which okay so now what we want to do here is let's go ahead and create the index so we want to make this a numbered list and let's go photos for teaching and learning videos for teaching and learning and now we need to make these into links. So I click to highlight that, click on the link. I want to link to the photos for teaching and learning and I click apply. Then I click videos for teaching and learning, link, select, apply. Let's take a look what this looks like. So if I publish and now Let's click on view the published site. So I'll go to view the published site and there is the index. So if I click on that, it takes me to that. Come back to the index, videos for teaching and learning, home. That's how you navigate. Let me show you what this will look like when you're finished. So here is my portfolio and I'm in the editing mode. So you'll notice that I have the main page and it says welcome to my portfolio. It also tells you a little bit about the site. There's an about me page and there's the portfolio index. And I'm showing you this from the editing side. If you want to view it, what it looks like to the publish, I view the published site and I can navigate around the published site. And the URL of the published site is this. Um, so if you're in the editing of this site here, the way you make sure that people can see it is you click on the plus to share with others. And just as you do with other Google Docs or slides, you want to, if you, you, you I'm going to change. So I have set currently public on the web or anyone with the link. The difference with that is that anyone on the link it, if it's public, anyone can search for it and find it, which if you want to increase your digital footprint is a good idea to have. If you only want those people who you who have the link to see it, you 
set it to anyone with a link. And if you only want specific people to see it, um, and not have it open to anyone else, even if they have the link, then you choose off specific people and you have to say who you get to share it with. I'm going to leave mine at public on the web and say save. And done. And if I want to share the URL, I must go to this, this site. I must publish it and copy the URL there. That's it.